Assalamu alaikum guys. You know those two oceans that like, when they come together, they don't mix? Like one's darker, one's lighter, one's fresh, one's salty. And like people are like, what the heck? How does that even happen? Over 1400 years ago, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, the last messenger of all of God's messengers, he was given the Quran and it says, in this um, ayah, it says, he has set the two oceans in motion, converging together between them as a barrier which they do not open. Blessed be he who has revealed the Quran to his servant that he may warn the nations, so reign over the heavens and the earth, who has begotten no children and who has no partner in his sovereignty. It is he who created all things and measured them out precisely. Yet they have taken, besides him, deities who create nothing in themselves are created and who have no power to harm or benefit themselves, who, who control neither death, nor life, nor resurrection. To be a Muslim simply means to submit your will to God. All religions have this goal. There's so many religions and there's so many branches and there's so many different things. And how do we know what's the truth? What is the true religion? Islam is the true religion because to be a Muslim, it simply means just that, to submit to God, to follow the commandments, to believe God is one, believe in the last day, and that makes you a Muslim. Alhamdulillah, I was guided to the truth. Salaamu Alaikum. Whenever I heard there was another religion that we they believe Jesus, I was like, wait a minute, what? How did I not know that there's a whole religion that also believes about Jesus, but he's not God. It's like everything that you're confused about in Christianity, Islam makes sense. Any, any Christians that have ever been like confused about their religion, I promise you Islam is the truth.